Paul. Hey, Parker. How you doing? Good. How have you been? Good to see you again. Oh, nice to see you. It's been a while. I know, right? Parker's my friend Doug. Hey, Doug. Parker. <laughs> nice to meet you. Doug does all the gardening around here. All oh, you around, do? All up and down Front Street, all the containers. Oh, does he? Wow, it looks beautiful. Yeah. Here he gets a little special treatment. Pretty cool. I love the way it softens your building, too. It's, it's awesome. big, big change, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this porch is new, too. Yes, it is. Yeah. The carving bench. The, car car the carving porch. Yes, yeah, sweet in yes. the summer. The perfect. What are you perfect. working on? It's for a client down in Nantucket. Chillax. Chillax. That's cool. Little That's guest cool. house down there. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Cool. Yeah, so thanks for taking the time to see yeah. me. I just, so what are you uh, looking for? Uh, I'm looking for um, a sign that says Blue View for my new house. And uh, Blue View is the name of my production company, Blue View right. Productions. Yep. And then the view out there is blue. So I thought Perfect. that might be cute. Appropriate. Yeah. Sure. And I get a lot of space. It's a three story with a mansard roof and you know, it's got a lot of a lot of space to work with. I'm okay. I'm kinda thinking I have a two spots I'm thinking about, but one is um, kind of to the right of the front door. I, I can show you a picture. Okay. But it's kind of to the right of the front door. Um, so would you want um, quarter board style so horizontal boards typically go above the door kind of like up here okay. so, you know smaller version above the door or if you're putting it to the side of the door yeah uh, oh, you just take an oval shape oh, you can do I something see. like that hang it to the side of the door yeah see the doors are kind of funny because it's the door and then it's two windows and there's no space in between that so it's door window window wall which, okay and then edge of yep, the house yep, so yep. would you think that the oval might work better there i typically when it's going next to the door yeah that shape these boards which yeah. are pretty popular along the sea coast yeah uh, they don't I mean, this board's too large for the space but they don't it's call out too enough. Too short. It's not. Nah, it doesn't. Uh, to me, it doesn't fit the space right. Yeah. I would go with a an oval or a, or a horizontal tablet style. Yeah. So board. this kind you usually use. This would for... go above above a doorway, yeah. or if you've got a, a porch above the door, your trim board, it could go along the trim board. Yeah, we, we do a porch with three different porches. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think of how much, much space is in between there. There's really I don't not enough to do there. I think. We wouldn't be able to do it over the over the door. Okay. I think we'd have to do it um, on the side, but it wouldn't be directly next to the door. It would be kind right. of next to windows. How much space do you have between the door and the windows? That's the key. Almost nothing between the door and the windows. They're really flanked, kind of like as as if this door was right here. Oh, so then. So it has to go, kind of on the side way like over. that, way yeah. over. Yeah. Or I could put it on the side because it's you know it's three stories and then you, you come in the side drive and up the up the back stairs yep. we're gonna have a pergola there I could put something on that side it's not on the front front facing though it would be on the side so you'd see it when you drove uh, you see up it as you're driving through then I mean yeah. that's a good spot for it more people are gonna see it yeah people that identify it either yeah. way but All blue right. view blue view on yeah. the water yeah perfect yeah I think it's good. Cool. Yeah, so I don't know about the colors. Um, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's going to be blue, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's <laughs> a shade of blue. Something. <laughs> yeah, it was a pink. So you've got weathered shingles and white trim, I guess. Or uh, yeah, well, it's it's, um, gonna be? it's gray shingles yeah. and uh, white porches and white trim. And I'm, I'm not sure about the door yet. I may try to do it navy, but it's a metal door right now. So um, and the and the mullions are inside. Right. So, so you can't paint those. Well, you can, but it looks ridiculous, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I mean, you can't. No offense to those who paint it anyway, but yeah. I, I, I like it when the mullions are also painted. So sure. I might either replace the door or just paint it white and leave it. Typically, we're matching the signs with the color of the door. Okay. Typically. Okay. As a, and we're in front of my building, and that doesn't work here. Yeah. <laughs> so you, re you rebel. <laughs> rebel on your own ideas. <laughs> uh, I, no, that makes sense though. Yeah. Sort of calls out the color, makes you see it yeah, better, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. But uh, and okay. then the lettering, you've got to decide whether you're gonna have a painted finish or a leaf finish. Okay. Gold leaf. This one here, leaning up against the building, is just a, a, a paint, a, a copper yeah. paint. Uh, might be a little too harsh. Kind of beachy blue, maybe just like a white or an off-white for the lettering might look nice. Yeah. Now, do you have any kind of like a computer program where you like 
pop in the color and the color letters so you can have like a no. I, I'm not that old I, school. I'm old school. Old yes. school. I can't, I oh can't figure that out. Paul, how long have you been doing this? Uh, carving. Oh, God. Carving almost 40 years. Four? Commer 40. 40. I was 40. Gonna 40. Say 40. 40. 40. I met you at least no, four yeah, years yeah, ago. Yeah, no, no. yeah, 40 but years. But commercially now, uh, 19 years this summer. Wow. Yeah. It's been a fun ride. This is a great spot right here in Front Street. Have you been here the whole time? This building I bought eight years ago. Eight years ago, yeah. And uh, I've been on Front Street now for 15 years. Yeah. This is my third location. I have two spots further down the street. This came up on the market, and I snapped it up. And you said right across from TK's, so it's yeah, got to be a win. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's everything I need right it's everything here. everything you need right there. Yeah, so it's pretty sweet. Yeah, no, and uh, the situate um, downtown is always always changing. Not not quickly, but it's, it's always got a little bit of something new every time I come, it seems. It's always different, yeah. which makes it interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's still a great town. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, and you I get like some foot traffic too, I'm sure, here. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. And having the bench out here working draws traffic from the street. Yeah, but I bet it's, it makes you uh, hard to focus on your work when wants to stop and chat, <laughs> like Doug or yeah. anybody, because uh, when you have a front porch and you're a nice yeah, guy like I, you. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it it's work, but not really work. Yeah, it takes fun. a little longer. Right? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. No hurry. Yeah, and so if people were to try to come uh, get a sign like I'm trying to get, what's the lead time usually? Like how long? Uh, currently, I'm running about six to eight weeks. Six to eight weeks. Yeah. And how long does a piece like this one take? I'll spend a day or so carving it, yeah. but then it's going to be in the paint room for a week or so. You know, there's design work ahead of that. Do you do the so, paint too? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a one-man shop. Yeah. So nice. It's me and the cat. You and the cat. Yeah. yeah. The cat's still around. What's it's the right cat's there. name? It's right there. Magic. Magic. Sticking right in the window there. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so one-man shop, so it, it takes time. Yeah. And I like to use oil paints as opposed so to latex. To they take a while to dry. I mean, they're a harder finish to them. They yeah, seem they to last better. longer. Yeah, oh, they, I think it looks a lot better. Well, I'm excited, so I guess I have a few things to think about so, and get back to you on. So you've got to figure out um, figure out the space where it's going. Okay, All right. and that's definitely. Gonna, then I have that, a couple and that, options. But. And that's going to determine the size and the shape. Okay. All right. You know what you're going to call it. Uh, typeface. Yeah. I mean, there's a million choices. A million fonts out there. Uh, go something casual, beachy. Yeah, something between you know, corporate logo and yeah. like whimsical. Yeah. <laughs> you know, something yeah. in the middle of that. So a little shape to it. Maybe up and uh, upper and lower case, not just all yeah. caps. Yeah, yeah. I do sort of a not maybe a script font, but something that's kind of flowy. Yeah. Make it look nice and casual, yeah. and you know, soft colors. No gold, go with white lettering or ivory with okay. a blue background. And then I have to decide on my door. I have to definitely and then, decide on my door. Then your door uh, changes as the sign is. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And, and how about any extras? Like, like I mean, these coordinates look awesome on it. Is yeah. there anything you think, or do you think it just, I mean, when you have the oval kind, it looks like you have some sort of a carving on the bottom. Typically, there'll be, a, you know, t we do a lot of scallop shells yeah. instead of an egret on that sign there. Yeah. Um, I mean, we do a lot of boating, but could, I wonder if it... Yeah, I could carve a sailboat scene in there. Yeah. Uh, you know, a, a, a trawler, any, I mean, carve anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever whatever your fancy is. <laughs> hey, can Make I check easy. out your shop too Please, again? yeah, come on in. Yeah, yeah uh, color-wise, uh, samples on the wall, there's a variety of blues. There's three, four different blues up oh, there. Right. There's a couple yeah. more here. Yeah. It's endless. On this wall, there's four more different blues. Um, people call, they order something, they want it navy and gold. Okay. Navy blue uh -huh. could be, there's a million shades of navy blue. <laughs> yes. So it's... All called different things, midnight yeah. and... Yeah, everything. yeah. So I it's kind of... <laughs> difficult to get exactly what someone in their mind yeah they know what it is yeah. but I, they, what's the best way to bring you like a, a paint chip like a if you get a paint chip mm -hmm. uh is probably the easiest way if you go to a local paint store i use benjamin moore paints oh, yeah. go to benjamin moore pick out a paint chip and just tell me the name and the number we can match it up yeah. now do you still give classes too i do yeah five times a week yeah right here in the shop that's awesome i love your shop yeah wow it's uh They'll start up again in September, hopefully. 
but it's been a nice, quiet summer. It's kind of nice. I like the blue and the silver. We have a lot of silver in the house. We have a lot of polished silver in the house. You like do. Like our light fixtures, a lot of silver. Yeah. I mean, I this. We only have one room that isn't. Like, that scheme right there would work for yeah. you. And this is kind of like a compass rose. Yeah, kind of. What? 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 Oh, <laughs> yeah. or, or star oh it is a compass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with, no, it's a compass rose with, without the markings. <laughs> right, on. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's, it's it took some liberty there with the compass little, rose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it more of a star. Well, it's you know, it's it's whatever you want. <laughs> artist, artistic license. Yeah. If I put the little, you know, north, south, east, west, it looks Gets a little, little busy. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we have a um, compass rose inlay in our inlay floor. floor. Nice. Yeah. That's 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 fun work. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's like true north too. This thing. Ah. No, I like that yeah. though too. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, what are some of your icon choices if we w went to the with the oh oval? God. I mean, you said sailboat. You have any samples around here? <sighs> mm. Do they fly off the shelves here? Do you have any it's generic? Or are they all personalized? It's all personalized. It's, it's all mean, it's all custom work. Right. So there's none. So that there's you just no have there's no stock. Anyone wants to? No. 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 Uh, and as soon as they're done. They're out the door. They're out the door. I you mean, take I'm, pictures, I hope. They're on I your do. Website. They're on my website, on my Facebook page. Uh, Is that on, right under your name, Paul Cuxtus? Cuxtus. Cuxtus.com, Cuxtus Wood Carving. What kind of name uh, is Cuxtus? Lithuanian. Lithuanian. Yeah. So, because I'm in Situate, I'm half Irish. Okay. On my well, mother's side. And I think you're, you're only allowed in Situate <laughs> if you're at least half. you gotta be. <laughs> you got to be partial, yeah. Uh, as far as designs, uh, I mean, I have a few sample pieces. Oh, okay. The shells. And are these are those like um, carved in, or are these yeah. on the outside? I mean. Well, e we can do them either way: mm -hmm. carve them separately and applique them to the board, or relief carve them into the board, such as over on this board over here. And another shade of blue. I see. Well, just with a little relief carving. Okay. Could carve the sailboat in over here, the dory. So not only do you meet a lot of people, but you know where they live. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we, I mean, we get people from all over the place. Yeah. I mean, I mean how many orders distance do you get from people seeing on your site? Like, where's the farthest that your sign's hanging on a house, do you think? Or? Uh, I did one for someone in Thailand. Really? Yeah. Was and it actually, there was one in Australia as well. Uh, yeah, there's an address sign. Yeah. Wow. And what, what's the uh, strangest place you think anyone's ever put one of these signs? Or what's the strangest request you had for a sign? Oh, uh, God. <laughs> I can't say. Maybe can't say. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say. I've done a lot of, a lot of different things. Yeah. <laughs> you charge extra for those? <laughs> every piece is different. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right, I'll put my so, thinking cap on, I guess. What? Yeah, put your thinking cap on. Uh, something simple would be just a little starfish carved into the board on the ends. Yep. Uh, if you want to do something like that. Mermaids are kind of... Yeah, too much detail. Plus, I have a mermaid well, room in my house. Just, yeah. But it's very, very... It's, I don't over mermaid. I don't over coastal. Good. I'm trying to keep it balanced because coastal to me, I love the coast. Yeah. Growing up on Cape Cod, I'm just and being on the South Shore, but I just can't have too much coastal. Sure, you can overdo it. Yeah. So, you may want to keep the sign simple. Yeah. But a sailboat, you know, that's always good. Yeah, and then what kind of sailboat? Right. Just the regular sloop, catboat. Well, we're looking at a catamaran right now. We're looking at a. Uh, 50-something catamaran. Well, but I'm going to live on that eventually. I'm living 57 on 57-foot catamaran. Yeah, I can see we'd be living <laughs> on it. Yeah. Just take it up for a day sale. <laughs> <laughs> you got to dream, Paul. You have to dream. Oh, no, absolutely. Absolutely. Right. So you've got to think about uh, font. Font. Colors. Color, you get an idea. Location. And then location. And then shape. And added. Things. Added elements to it. All right. But all, you know. You can go crazy. Yeah. Or I you want, can keep it simple. Yeah. I want to go somewhere. And I'm happy to those. carve anything. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll probably be somewhere in between those two. All right. Cool. Not, not that moderation is my best suit, but I, I'm going to try. 